If you want to see more of those videos, click on the description box. First of all, if you want to see more of those videos, click on the subscribe button down below. Hey, hello everybody! Write on the comments below how was your week. Uh, it was good. Here we had like a few days of sun, so that's really nice and fresh. Uh, okay, let's go to the business. Um, currently for this week, 56% of my viewers are female. And last week I thought like, why not doing DIY specific for female, of course, all my DIY, it's not gender. Um, but I wanted to do something specific for female. Um, so I thought what I can do and what I can do for female is something related to jewelry. So, jewelry box! <laughs> of course also male goes with jewelry, I have jewelry. Um, so I'm off topic. Um, what I want to say. By the way, when I did the DIY, oh, I'm putting in the jewelry box. <laughs> Uh, when I did the DIY, like, I'm doing the DIY before I'm filming the outro and the intro. So, when I did the DIY, I was surprised to uh, see how, like, fun it's to handle with quirk. I use, like, sheet quirk, um, you know, like a ruler. So, if you're looking for a new jewelry box, there you go! I'm very pleased how the play and the jewelry box came out. And seriously, the finishes of the box is on flex, so I'm very happy. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you want to buy jewelry box made from Cork, it will cost you about £40 and it's really not worth it. Um, that day it cost me like £8, so do the math. I have no idea, <laughs> like seriously, I have no idea why, but I always feel like my explanation before the tutorial is so long. So yeah, for it, let's go to the video, shall we? For this DIY, you will need Cork, cardboard, small brush, stanley knife, scissor, pen or pencil, glue, I used E6000s, white acrylic paint, white felt, and, and wooden boxes. I'm starting by painting the inner side of the boxes. Now, you will need 4 round pieces to the lid of the boxes. Remember, I'm making 2 boxes with lid, every box needs 2 pieces of cardboard. Be aware those pieces need to be a bit smaller so it will get in eventually into the box. So trim a bit if it's a bit bigger. Now I measure the box while using felt. Because I'm making two plates and two boxes, I will need four pieces. And small notes, don't use pen because after you will be able to see the lines. When you glue the felt, stretch it from the middle out so you don't end up with wrinkling felt at the bottom. Now again. You will need 6 round pieces of cork, 4 to the bottom of the boxes and 2 for the lid. Here I'm cutting stripes to cover the sides. 2 wide stripes actually to cover the boxes and 2 narrow to cover the plate. Make sure you made 6 cork pringles, 4 of them is to use as a bottom and 2 gonna use as a lid. Now for the final and most easiest part, just glue all the pieces to the wooden boxes. 
As you can see here, I turned the original lid to jewelry play and create much more beautiful and modern lid all by myself. Small note, when you cut the cork you prefer to leave a bit space to cover all the original box. Uh, instead of cut small piece and then it won't fit properly. Remember to make bigger piece cause you always can trim that later. So my weekly question is, what do you prefer in jewelry, gold or silver? Write in the comments below. So that's all I have for this week. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give a big thumbs up to this video and share with your friends. And I will see you next week. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye. Subscribe. I'm back. No, no.